my gosh. Oh, when I say parenting is hard, parenting is hard. My son, he'll be 18 in August. This last year between me and him have been so hard. Oh, I guess he's trying to figure out where he is in life, who he is in life. You know, as I said, when you evolve, you take on so many different identities. I believe that that is true. Um, Bo has always been my quiet child, my 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 calm in a storm. Um, I believe that he is a he was a gift. He was a gift above all my children were, but he came first, and um, you know. Being a mother's not easy, and uh, I understand it. <coughs> God bless me. I'm sorry. Uh, parents who make a lot of bad choices sometimes, and uh, but uh, as a as a young man, um, I mean, he's done really. I'm, I'm very proud of my son. I can't. I mean, I. I don't know where me and him are right now, but I will tell you that I am very proud of him. I, I, I've never had to worry about Bo getting involved in drugs, uh, running with hood rats. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with uh, hood rats, but uh, he's he's always been a good kid, and uh, we we've we have really fought. And uh, one of the reasons I did my surgery was because. Uh, I didn't want my son to think I didn't try. And it was mostly for Bo. Um, I thought that's why he was so angry at me because I wasn't gonna do the surgery. And at the last minute, I decided to do it. And, um, you know, I know he loves me. I wish we could be the way we used to be, but uh, anyway, he, this is his first time. away from me, um, except for when uh, I had a collapse of a little nervous breakdown when we first moved back from Florida, uh, and that that was so hard on him, oh my God, between that, and uh, so he had to be strong, but he went to his girlfriend's parents, uh, like whatever, for three days, and Yesterday, when I walked into his room, he looked so nervous. And I told him, I said, look, (laughs) uh, if anything goes wrong, uh, you're put in an uncomfortable situation, (laughs) anybody's mean to you, you don't worry. We we will find a way to come get you. Do you understand me? And he looked like it was relief on his face. Like, okay. I mean, he didn't come back with no smart ass comment he truly looked like it was what he needed and uh, you know other parents their kids go and have sleepovers and my kids didn't um when I got clean I, I literally had to have them attached to me at all times I mean I and I'll tell you So, for eight years, I, I never liked to be apart from my children, and uh, it's it's just I know it's it's him growing up, and uh, I gotta let him go, and I'm trying so hard, and uh, he'll be okay. Uh, but I just thought I'd do a little recording because I know that lately a lot of my recordings have been kind of angry at him but it's just because he's changed so much into an identity that I don't know and I want that connection back and you know it might it might be me it might be him nobody's really sure Uh, so much going on you know the 
like I said, the hate that is involved in my house right now, um, not so much hate, it's just a lot of bitterness and um, uncertainty and, you know, I'm, I'm at times confused with things. Um, I get really mad because there's so many things that I forget and um, as I told you, I, I don't go out into um, <laughs> normal society anymore. I hide in the woods and um, I don't know if maybe that's one reason he's so mad at me that I hide away. It's just I wish I could get him to understand how much of this world, it, it's really draining. And I believe when you find comfort in solitary, which as a young kid, you don't, you know, you want it all. You want, you want to see it all. And uh, I've done more in my lifetime. Um where I am fulfilled to the brim. I wish I could make him understand that. And he has to go out and explore and find himself. So, you know, I got to back up and, you know, I guess I have to let him make his own choices and discover this world in his own way. And as I said before, as parents, it's very hard for us to do. But, um, I just wish he could see it from my point of view. And I know that he can to an extent, but I guess it's only when you get older that you come to realize that. Um, and some people are always gonna be able to go out and they'll wanna be social. But see, I did so much of that socialness, I literally tired myself out. And, um, I'm content, and I, and I want him to know that, and and I know that I'm always tired and bitching and yelling, and I find myself every afternoon like that, like, oh my God, I am always screaming, and I am, but that's what I'm, this is where I'm at right now, so hopefully, um, I'll say this hopefully, I'm going to work on myself and uh, my parenting towards a becoming man because I've never done it. This is a new one for me and for Bo. Um, I'm going to try to have more patience and be a little more understanding. I just wish he would do the same. And uh, I, mothers have a hard job. But... Uh, and I, and I want to thank my mother for going through all that with me. And just know, Bo, wherever you are right now, your mama loves you very much. And last night was very hard for me. I couldn't sleep. <laughs> and this morning, his bedroom door was closed. And, you know, it's just it's hard, y'all. <laughs> and I hope everybody has a beautiful weekend.